All right, y'all. What's up? It's me, looking bummy. Um, just, just so tired. So, 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 in the words of Beyonce and Destiny's Child. Tired. They didn't say tired. They said good, but I'm not feeling so, 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 so good today. I'm feeling very drained. Today's dramas, because y'all really enjoy these dramas. I don't know. New subscribers, how y'all doing? Um, I have a lot of personal issues and I discuss them on camera uh, freely for the world to pick apart. So please enjoy uh, my dramas and me feeling all sorts of ways uh, because I'm going to do these as well. Now, I've already um, confirmed that I will be doing Queen's Court after court special, uh, hopefully every Tuesday, um, as long as the Queen's Court is uh, in session. So that's coming. Uh, I'm not sure if they're doing one on Christmas because, girl, it's Christmas. I would imagine that they probably will because they're adults and adults love to get together and drink and have a good time on Christmas and that's what they do just every Monday in general so I'm imagining that they will have a Queen's Court come out um, tomorrow but I'm not 100% sure so if I don't pop in on Tuesdays because they didn't pop in on Monday just as simple as that um, and now I've got the preliminaries out of the way let's get to the bull I'm sad I've been sad I was literally I, it hasn't even been 15 minutes I told my mama well it might have been 15 minutes 20 minutes ago I told my mama she has a very, very sad side of the family. My mama's mama's side of the family is, is chronically depressed, and I believe my mama's daddy's side of the family deals with depression as well. Uh, and my daddy's, well, my daddy, I don't know about the rest of them, but I'm imagining my daddy and them also deal with depression. And it's not just your casual depression. This is heavy depression. Heavy depression. So I told my mother, the two saddest people on earth got together and made a sad baby. And we just, there's just not too much we can do about it. We pray uh, and all of that, but you know, girl, sad, just sad. Um, with that being said, let me address for those of you who have not heard the news. The news is that in 2015, going into 2016, uh, my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right here and tell you how I became the depressed bee that you see in front of you today. Um, I've already always been very depressed, but I've been able to kind of shake it off, uh, no Taylor Swift, and just shimmy around it and carry on. Uh, but 2015, uh, around this time, it was actually December 31st, 2015, uh, my car died completely died died no more life to be given uh she's not coming back ever 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 um my great grandfather took the liberty of giving the car away selling the car without me ever being able to see the car again so i had emergency money in the car i had belongings in the car that he just gave away and he gave it to somebody who knows me who didn't say hey boo we got your stuff um come by and get it none of that so uh, the lack of consideration there on several people's behalf um, just the mere fact that nobody thought to say, oh, this is Kayla's car. Oh, she may have things in it. Because if I walked up to your house, grabbed your car and gave it to somebody, you would have things in it. The hell? So that started that. Car quit. My auntie is loaning me this car that you see before you today. Bless its heart. Uh, I, it's on a half a tank of gas and my grandmother filled it up two days ago and I've only gone to work and home. So I need to put more gas in it and that is literally where my income goes into this vehicle and into feeding my body. Feeding the car and feeding my body is where my whole check goes. Um, well, not the whole thing, but the majority. Got other little bills that, that, that take the rest. Um, so anyway, that's going on. The car's gone. I'm in this loaner. Uh, and then in 2015, I believe it was, I have not been keeping track because simply I don't care. And at this point, uh, you may be mad you very well may be mad, uh, but I cannot do anything about it because this is simply how I feel. And I'm speaking to someone in particular, uh, and if you're watching, you know it's you. Um, but I, my mother got married. I'm doing this again. It made someone mad the first time, uh, and it, it sent, me, sent me right on down into a, a heavy depression about a month ago. Uh, but here I am again doing it again because I'm going to continue to do things and talk about myself on my channel. Uh, and this has something to do with me, so here I am. My mother got married. I wasn't really feeling it. Yada, blah, blah, blah. We've already gone through all of this. Um, and we've gone through that. Caused my great-grandfather to be very upset with her. Uh, because, you know, that's his baby. And she's gone off and gotten married and blah, blah, blah. I don't care anything about it. But what I do know is it affects me. So, I've been affected again. Because he took the house that I was living in. So, he's taken my car. He's taken my house. Uh, January of 2016, a full year after the car quit, he said, okay, well, let's go down to the dealership. I got dressed. 
I had on these same sandals I have on today and it was freezing. It was not a wise choice for me to have on these sandals, but I did. And I stood outside, we selected a car and my toes froze and all of that goodness. We picked the very car that I had spoken into existence. I said, I want this car. Uh, I would like to have this make and model. And the car was there. And my grandfather said, okay, cool, yes, we can get the car. We go inside, the man goes to get the paperwork for us to fill out and my grandfather says, oh, never mind," and we go home. So now he has taken my car, he has taken my house, he has taken my car once again. And then I had to go to work that day and just act like everything's kosher and cool. And I'm supposed to just act like everything is kosher and cool all the time. So all of that being said, um, all of this happened, and I'm sure you've all heard this story before. And you'll probably hear it again just fast forward with babies, I'm so sorry. Um, this is going on, and I've told, I told a few select people this is what's going on in my life. Uh, while it was going on, while I was at the, just the, the, I need to be dead right now time in my life. Because 2016, uh, every day, I had a suicidal thought. Every day. 2017, it's probably once a week or so. So we're getting better. We are getting better. Uh, but 2016, I needed to be dead. And I still don't know why I'm, I'm with us today. Aside from the fact that uh, my mother would not be pleased with me being dead. Um, so I told... I told a couple people what was going on and no one really had any any sympathy for me. I was like, oh no girl, that's a shame. And then kept you pushing. So that led me to believe, okay, well we're just gonna keep it pushing. So now people are having um, situations in their life and I'll, I'll, I'll mess, message and say, hey baby, how you doing, how are things? Um, and they'll say, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm doing my thing, I'm holding on, or you know, life is hard, I'm about to lose my job, and these type of things, and I say, oh no, I'm so sorry, and then they say, okay. You know, it's okay, it's whatever. And then I proceed as people have proceeded with me to just keep it pushing because I can't do anything for you aside from be there. And once I've, you know, extended my, hey baby, how are you? Uh, and you kind of brush it off or whatever, or you're unable to receive at the moment, I'll check back with you later. But I'm going through some things too. Like it just does not make sense. I keep getting people who are like, you know, you keep saying that you're, you're, you don't have any friends and this, that, and the other and blah. And it's like, okay, yes, there are people who consider me their friend, but there are not people. Uh, when I was going through 2016, which was the hardest year I've ever lived in my life, um, everybody was just keeping it pushing. And so I felt like that was just what we do in our friendship. We just keep it moving. No disrespect. I, I'll text, I'll check on you. Uh, but at this point in time, and I have not seen, the only person that I have seen uh, in the year, only friend that I've seen in the year is Aisha. And that's because me and Aisha have been planning to get together for almost three years. Three, three years we've been planning to get, we need to get together, we need to hang out, we need to do something. We need this, we need that, we need this, we need that. And finally, when I had a couple days, I had four days off work, I said, uh, baby, what, what, what's going, what you doing? Uh, do you want to link up, blah, blah, blah. And she said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm off Sunday. And then I had to talk myself up into doing that. And I, the, the re one of the reasons <clears throat> that I selected Aisha to be the only single and onlyest friend that I hung out with in the year of our Lord 2017 and only hung out with her once. The reason I selected her was because Aisha is the most supportive person that I know. Aisha has a way of giving me life uh, without requiring life back necessarily. It's like, okay, if I say, I'm your girl, I'm gonna go out here and, and prostitute. She'll be like, yes, girl, you prostitute, you do your thing, I'm thinking about it too. And we have just a, a, a back and forth a relationship that does not require really anything from either of us. I could text Aja right now and be like, girl, ready to die. She'd be like, girl, me too. Same. And I mean, it's just that with other people, they, everybody else, I feel like, not everybody, but the majority of other people want me uh, to drop all of my issues. And I have a lot of them. That's the thing. I have a lot of issues. And these are not new issues. This is not, oh, you springing up new drama or anything like that. 2015 was three years ago at this point. And I'm still suffering. And I still don't talk to my great granddaddy. Which is a shame uh, because he's 93 years old. But the, the real shame is you're not going to play me. I don't care who you are. You're just simply not going to play me. Um, so, I mean, I, girl, like, I'll say hi to him. We're, we're, we're cordial. But I, the affection that I used to give my great granddaddy, he's not getting that. He, and he just probably won't anymore. And I hate to be that way, but you're not going to play me. I don't care who you are. Now, moving along, because I'm just rambling at this point and there's just not a lot to this. But uh, today, I was awakened to, to a couple of messages of people saying, you know, basically you're derelict in your duty as a friend. Yeah, 
yes, we know that if you would come over here to the channel where I'm ex expressing and explaining everything, we already know that I am barely alive. Barely. And I've said on a video before, but the girls don't want to see the videos where I'm explaining the issues. So I know you're probably not going to watch this one. Um, but maybe if I put a clip on Instagram, the girls will catch it. I don't, I don't go around other people because I don't want to spread my negativity. There are plenty of people that I would love to see and this and that. And at this point, certain people I don't go around because I don't want to have to answer questions. I don't want to have to have hard conversations at this point because I'm having too many hard conversations on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but I don't go around people because I literally, literally am ready to go up yonder to be with my Lord. Literally ready. Um, and I don't want, because a lot of people are, are dealing with very, very difficult things. And I don't want to come to you and you're already dealing with something very, very hard come over there and you're like well why aren't you having you know a good time why aren't you like you used to be when we used to hang out you used to be the life of the party and I'm just saying like well girl sis you know these are the breaks I don't want to bring these other breaks to people so I keep it to myself and I feel like I'm being considerate uh but then everybody's like well you don't hang out and you don't call and you and I'm like well girl if I did you'd be mad about that so I just simply cannot win I cannot I would love to hang out I would love to I would love to um when I've got a little bit of free time, us link up, let's have dinner, let me come over, you come over, we watch the movies, whatever, whatever. Uh, but girl, I don't want, I don't want to spread my negativity. I don't want to have to answer uh, a bunch of questions as to where have you been when I keep saying where I've been. I, I keep saying, I'm on Facebook talking about it all the time. I'm on these videos talking about it all the time. I am just simply depressed. And I don't want to have to have a face-to-face -face conversation with somebody saying the same things over and over and over and over again. I just don't want to. So I keep my distance. I keep my distance. And it's not a personal attack. It's not a personal. I don't talk to my mama the majority of the time. I don't talk to my mother the majority of the time. So, I mean, it's just so draining. It's so draining. Anyway, girl, y'all don't care about this. I've been ranting and rambling too long. Um, I may check these stats, see if anything popped up for a story and give y'all a rambling report after I run in here. I've taken it upon myself because for some reason I'm nice. I've taken it upon myself to drop in on my boss and uh, because he's at work uh, by himself all day today from 11 to 6 p.m. to see if he needs a bathroom break, to see if he needs to get something to eat or drink or whatever. I've taken it upon myself to do that. Uh, for what reason, I don't know, but I need this car in front of me. Ontario, Canada, baby, you need to drive. Uh, yeah, I've taken it upon myself to do that because, girl, tis the season, I guess. Anyway, I mean, I literally got up out of my bed and drove from my home to do this. But I'm such a bad person. It's, I'm, I, it is exhausting being me. It is exhausting being me, having people assume that I am a bad person. Uh, for what reason, I don't know. Because I pop off at the mouth all the time. I do that all the time. And I've been doing that the whole time. So what is the, what? Anyway, girl, let me get over here, do this thing, and, and I'll call y'all in a second. Peace.